Welcome to Cleaners Talk. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and review and use the Swifter WetJet mop. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and measure the mop pad. The measurements for this will be 12 inches by 6 inches. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and test the sprayer. We're going to see how far it sprays. As you can see here, it sprays about 18 and a half to 19 inches. The WetJet mop comes with a starter cleaning solution bottle. This one holds 17 fluid ounces. Once this bottle is done, you can purchase a separate bottle. This one is much larger and it holds 42 fluid ounces, which will give you three times more cleaning solution. The Swifter WetJet mop is powered by two batteries. They're located here. You go ahead and slide this up, flip it around. There are two AA batteries. Make sure that they are inserted correctly. Once you're done, go ahead and insert it back to the mop. Okay, the first thing we're gonna test out is ketchup. The next item we're gonna test out is milk. The last item we will test out is baby food. Before I give this mop a final rating, I'd like to go over a few notes. First, the surface of this mop is smaller than majority of the mops on the market. The mop pad does not pick up messes and liquids is easy. It does take a few swipes for the liquids to begin to stick to the mop pad. It doesn't absorb as well. The mop pad does need replacing, meaning it's not reusable. You do have to buy new mop pads. The next thing is you do have to replace the liquid bottle every time. It's not reusable and you cannot refill it. A few pros will be that the cleaning solution bottle is larger and does hold a lot of cleaning solution. So you do have to change it less often. The other plus will be that it only needs two AA batteries to operate. Overall, I give this mop three stars out of five.